Guys, don't forget before the video starts, we got a meetup coming up on September the 8th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Information is in the description of the video as well as on social media. So uh, make sure to go check out all the uh, rules and stuff to our meetup. And we hope you can come out and have a good time with us. Ride our stuff, bring your own stuff and ride it. But yeah, check those uh, uh, links out in the description as well as uh, you know on social media. You can keep up with it on Instagram and Facebook. Enjoy the video. Previously on Redbeard's Garage. So we're mounting up the engine. I think I got it kind of where I want it. I've measured this tube that I just tacked in there off of this one. Got an equal on both sides. So now uh, I need to tack the engine plate completely in place so when I remove the engine it doesn't move it any. I'm going to have to trim the torque converter. Over here I've trimmed one of these ears off that's back here because they put them all around this uh, plate just in case you know a lot of go-karts the chain would go straight down from mini box that's going back to this rocket so I trimmed that off and I'm going to also have to notch it down bottom to clear this tube that's going across so then I can come down from the top of the frame down to the bottom with some three quarter inch pipe because the pipe has the closest outside diameter to this uh, metric tubing that uh, they make these box I love so I can brace it from here and there and then I'll be putting a piece of aluminum diamond plate as the floor pan to house all of our our stuff up there and I can run a bar straight across right in front of this tube uh, for the foot pegs for the passenger and their calf can lay against the torque converter cover that'll be right here so it'll work out great it'll be about right there their foot pegs so we're getting close to riding this hog next thing is going to be the big pain in the keister is brakes you know the factory brake is only meant to run cable is meant to run right here so I'm hoping I have a go power sports brake cable that'll reach all the way back uh, we did talk about doing hydraulic disc brakes uh, on the front, but I need to get a flange built. And I don't know really if these forks would handle the force of brakes, you know, because that's going to want to make the forks collapse. I am going to stiffen this with big gussets. I want to stiffen the back corners with gussets. I want to make sure this thing's super strong because we do have some meat on this puppy. Look at that bead. Good gosh. I was working that water like a borrowed mule. Holy moly. I guarantee that engine blade ain't ever going to torque on me. I did two passes on that. I got deep in the crack first, you know, doing the swirly swirls. And then I went back and did a big fat daddy bead on it across that puppy. Oh, my gloves was getting hot. I bet my welder was like, whoa. So, at the tubing's not, it's not 100%, but we're good enough to proceed on with where we're going to put our braces, our up and down braces. So I'm going to let that puppy cool for three or four days. And then I can slap that 18 horse back on there. And uh, once the 18 horse is on, where it's going to be, I can, you know, snug it down and then find out the placement of my bracing from top to bottom. I think two is perfectly fine. Might do some gussets on top and bottom. I don't know. I don't want to tacky it up, but I do want it to be strong. Giving back some challenges today. Doesn't want to get his new work pants dirty. <laughs> Jeepers, mister, you're really strong. This ain't heavy. Braxton just got him a tail of the Now I need the air compressor. 
Braxton uh, got himself a Tillotson off the drift track because we sold one of our drift track frames without an engine because we're tired of them. They're too much work to get them out. They're fun. Don't get me wrong. If you only have like a, a little area on asphalt to ride, drift track would be the thing to get, but not for us. Alright, so we came down to Walmart to get our fuel. Basically, we have a dual fuel carb and we can run Coleman propane on our Coleman mini bike. So we need this and we also need a few little knickknacks and bric a bracks. That's two cups. Right here. There's a plate, two plates, two cups, and a set of forks and spoons. Six bucks. So I've got a two. That's the one that we'll need. Yeah, and that's perfect with the handle. Um, um, they got some sweet sleeping bags over there that are like camping sleeping bags. So like where you don't need it. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, we need, if they have a cheap hammock, we're going to get Because you can get hammocks pretty cheap on Amazon, so we need to be careful. Uh, yeah, so we wanted to do off home and stuff, but there's cheaper options so like this is 15 bucks the sleeping bag would be a that's a better. big i mean you can it's get a tent large. that's that size yeah that's the only bad thing about it these aren't bad these 15 dollars and they got cactuses on them so <laughs> that Plus makes them cool oh there's a shark we can sleep in the mouth of the beast in the belly of the moose we need a we need a kayak uh, <laughs> strap a kayak just dragging it on the ground by Need one of these. Where'd Braxton go? Can't see him. So we need to find a super duper cheap fishing rod combo. It'd be nice to get a reel, but I'm talking dirt cheap because uh, we're trying not to spend, you know, least amount of time. Oh, yeah. Ten bones. Ten bones. Ten dollars for that. It's a pretty good bargain. That's a trailer hitch. They didn't embarrass yourself. You know, we get at least four to five people viewing our videos, and you just made yourself feel good. Four to five people. Here's a triple. Well, it's not waterproof. Well, it's not waterproof. So, we found the 2 million candle watt flashlight. By the way, we came down to Royal King because I'm like, if we're spending all this money, we should run and do some price checking. So. They have a 2 million candle powered light for the same price as that 220 lumens light. So, this is a bit cool. That's $69 for that pin. $49 or $69? $14. That's $15. <laughs> but I like the box that the other one was in. But how much is this? So, yeah, you saved $10 on the tent. Same price for the light, but it's a lot higher. How much was the double cost of the propane? Well, you did just save 10 bucks. So that's basically free money. <laughs> <laughs> free money, baby. Stacking it up, stacking it up. So I think you do need the machete. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> she got lost a leg. Machetes are handy tools. In the do we need hot dog roasters? We do. I'm letting Becca judge half of our spending here because a lot of this stuff is. I'm good at budgeting. Oh. Greg is not. Excuse me. Greg's a see it, I want it, I buy it. It's only 70 bucks and it's like a wormhole. That's sweet. How much though. is that? $6.99. That's a cooking set. And it's Coleman. Set with, yeah, and it's yeah get that. That We need that. What are you going to eat out of? Get two of them. Drink what out of it. Beans. <laughs> this comes with a sipping cup. One. <laughs> the other one was a two plates, two cups, and utensils for the same price. For four people. It wasn't nothing to cook. Yeah, but that one's Coleman. We need cooking stuff, too. The, the other one was like this, but the lids collapsed down flat. So our good friend Brad Hill has sent us a Weber grill because he works for Weber. He builds all of our diamond plate gas tanks and we were going to go with the Coleman grill because we wanted it all Coleman of course but I don't want to spend $65. The only good thing about the Coleman, it's half the thickness of this uh, this grill, but I don't know where exactly we're gonna mount the grill, probably on the back rack, 
But I wanted to mount the gas tank there. That's our only problem right now. You can hang the gas tank off the bottom side of the tank. Yeah, I, I did, was looking at that a while ago. This is a nice little grill. Coleman sponsored us the box for this build, but they did not sponsor anything else. So you've seen us in Royal King and Walmart buying all this stuff. So uh, it was awesome that Brad sent us out this this grill, and you can see how thick it is. It's a lot thicker than we, than we wanted originally. You know, the Coleman was like this thick, so. Maybe but, you could store stuff inside of the grill. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking is I can store the our plates and stuff, plates, cups, and forks inside this. And then I want to put a, you know, some type of gasket in there so this ain't so rattly that you can take out when you use the grill. Uh, and that's why I was thinking this is like the perfect size. Like it's dead perfect. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Perfect. And then the tent could roll up, go right here. The tent will stick out a little bit and then you know, all of our utensils will be inside this. Just make sure you like pull off. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be cool to mount this to that rack and use the grill on here, but I think the heat would be too much for that. You know what I mean? It'd end up, and if I insulated it, it would still get that wood hot, I would say. So let's put this puppy together. We're gonna push this. That gets you? Yeah, Those Set to the pan pit. No. Ah, I got me. <laughs> I was touching it in. <laughs> I hate everything you live for. So this is uh Do we need the warning? No. No, we do not. So we're gonna have two tanks of propane on this. We're gonna have one for the grill and one for the engine. Yeah, you heard right. We're gonna run the engine off propane and propane accessories. Yeah, Brad Hill's email will be on screen right meow. Uh, if you want to buy gas tanks, battery boxes, he'll make any custom aluminum diamond plate or the just brushed aluminum style. Uh, we love them. We're wanting to... Cool. We want to use the gas tank, his medium sized tank he built for us, which is a six inch end cap, but we need to mount our grill and stuff back there. So we're trying to figure out, and what I could do to keep the grill from rattling on metal to metal is go get one of them exercise pads black one, trim it out, and uh, put it back on. Yep. Mm -hmm. Woo, face. All right, so what I have done is ordered uh, two pair of these CR80 foot pegs because they give you a really good grip on your toes. Then I'm using shock mounts. These are Amazon sells these pre-made shock mounts and it worked perfect to give us, you know, a little clasp for our foot pegs. So, you like that. Now if those are tacked on, we can get them. I basically cut four two inch pieces of flat stock that'll go behind them and keep these from collapsing down, but they'll still collapse up. These, we may have to do a little, I might be able to cut these down and run them in there. Or do it like that, maybe. Okay, well done. I just made it flush with the back. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Brandon, I'll tell you about that guy. <laughs> that was dangerous. Uh, that was bad. <laughs> uh, it wasn't dangerous, but where's that drop cord? We need to take the clean these backsides off. This is going to be a sweet hog. <laughs> so we bought a machete. Uh, because you need a machete when you go camping. Oh, yeah. So now, just need to come up with something to hold it on the forks of the bike. Looks pretty sick. Got the uh, machete uh, mounted, but we're probably going to weld a piece of flat stock on top and bottom to keep it where it won't rotate and get into the tire. But it looks sweet right there. I like it. I guess we could just cut the length and lay it down. Be quicker and make a template like that, wouldn't it? Tony got me these scissors from Mastercraft, so they usually cut the fiberglass. Fiberglass, yeah. 
So we're going to take some Go Power Sports three hole gussets and weld in, you know, something like that, one on the other side, and two down here. We're going to bolt a piece of aluminum diamond plate down here for the floor pan to house our cooler. We're going to see how we can, we may make a gas tank that'll fit right in here, just try to make up some, but I want to fit the cooler in here. And everything else should fit inside the grill, like our pots and pans, our towels, we're going to bring like two towels. Our blankets will just roll up and have rolled up, you know, on the front rack or something. Sleeping bags? Oh yeah, we do need sleeping bags to go in the pit, don't we? Yeah, so yeah we'll have to get two sleeping bags, which those won't be anything. I mean, they're pretty big. Sleeping bags like that big around. Look at that. Look so you got a trap door. Trap door. <laughs> That's for <pain. laughs> <laughs> we got some grips to throw on the back of this puppy too. So you can grip it, grip it. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that's over with. So there's our floor pan. Looks sweet on there. So now we can do uh, these gussets bolted on the bottom side. We just need to put them up there. Yeah, and tack them on and then drill the holes. This build started, we got everything. I lengthened the frame in like four hours. We had it as a rolling chassis in four hours and just the bracing and the engine plate. The engine plate, you wanna make sure you're getting it exactly where you need it. Um, and the engine is centered on the frame as well as the chain lines up good. And we have a little bit of wiggle room if we use 5 16 bolts instead of 3 8 you know, that'll let the engine wiggle a little bit. And we had to use one inch risers under the engine to uh, clear the torque converter. And I still trim the torque converter. I'll show you when we install the engine later. Merch pre-sale going on right now. Hats come pre-stained and sweaty. 20 bucks for a hat. $12 for a t-shirt. Link in the description below. Can I swap sides? Well, I dropped my grill off of the bike. And uh, I don't think it hurt anything, but ooh, I caught half the hit. Yeah, it put a good nasty nick in it, but <laughs> oh, look at that one, corner. Golly, we put a few nicks in our brand new grill. I t tilted the bike, forgot it just laying willy nilly on there. Sorry, Brad. Sorry, Brad. <laughs> So he's welding these tabs on there so the machete, the machete, will not rotate back and get into the tar. That will work. So, people, we are getting really close on the tandem mini bike. Next episode, we should see it ride. I had to get Brandon to TIG weld some brackets on our gas tank where we're going to mount it. Brad Hill had made us. Um, a bunch of large, medium, and small gas tanks. This is the size he built me for the shifter carts. We was going to use this, but we wanted a little bit more fuel capacity because it is a camping mini bike. Uh, we wanted to be able to go on long trips and not have to worry about fuel. Uh, we will be able to run the engine off propane as well, but that's just a backup. Uh, we will run it on propane. I don't know if it'll be in the next video, but you will see the engine running on propane. But we just did that to be a cool, you know, just in case you run out of fuel, you can use your grill fuel to power the engine. And also, I do know it's Tuesday for Mini Bike Monday, but the thing is uh, about Mini Bike Monday is it's going to change a little bit. Instead of doing a Mini Bike video every week and then, you know, one go kart video, we're going to start just doing it by build. So basically, you'll see a Mini Bike build and then sometimes you'll see a go kart build. We can't do Mini Bike Mondays anymore because I'm out here by myself a lot. And if I'm doing a go kart build in the new part of the garage, I completely got to get it out of here and grab a Mini Bike in here. And it's more headache than you guys think to have two builds like that going on. So, with this tandem mini bike you know it, it would take you guys three weeks to see the whole build so why not knock it out all in you know like you know seven to ten days worth of time that's the way we're going to start doing it so i don't know how often we'll do mini bike builds and how often we'll do go-kart you know how often we'll sli switch back and forth but uh, i think it'll work out better like that so we'll have to redo the intro and get rid of the mini bike monday on the next video and uh yeah it's just how it has to happen for now maybe when we get some more help uh i can change it back but as of right now, it has to go to, 
you know mini bikes sometimes go karts other times so thank you guys for watching uh i hope you like the tandem mini bike build more uh will be coming very soon probably maybe friday i don't know i don't want to i don't want to swear at anything but uh thanks for watching and god bless Rub Beards Garage is powered by GoPowerSports.com. GoPowerSports has a huge amount of awesome go-kart and mini bike parts. And when making your purchase, use the Red Beard discount code in the upper right-hand corner of your shopping cart to grab yourself a sweet deal. Hit that subscribe button and make sure the notification bell is on so you'll never miss another episode. And go check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest to stay up to date with the channel. Guys, always come back to Redbeard's Garage. I'm out.